First, congratulations on the appointment of the substantive council. Yes, first of all, what are your ambitions with uh, with uh, what you call it, with the position? And secondly, given the so many debutants uh, for the possible debutants for the at least one for for the first test, uh, what have you been trying to impart in, in, in especially the young players going to it? Thank you. Um, yeah, obviously it's exciting for me to become captain. It's an honour. Um, you know, sitting here in place of guys like Heath Streak, Andy Flower, that have, and and obviously um, Types, Hamilton, PT, they've all been here before, and it's it's an absolute honour to be here. And to to fill those boots is going to be an extremely tough job, um, especially coming from where we've just come from, um, and rebuilding a group of young players like you just say. We're having a couple of debutants coming into the team now is fantastic for us. I think it's a huge stepping stone in in a in the way forward for Zimbabwe cricket. I think um, seeing more of them coming through in Logan Cup now is a fantastic thing. Um, and obviously discipline is what I'm after. Um, a lot of fight is what I'm after. Um, and I'm after performance. Um, performance is going to be key in order for Zimbabwe cricket to be moving forward, especially in the test arena. Um, test cricket is not easy, as you know. Um, it's being played all around the world. Top class players are, are playing. People are scoring big double hundreds, hundreds, and we need to be doing the same stuff. Um, it is going to take time to get there. Um, it does require stepping stones, and there's a process to that. Um, but yeah, um, the discipline and the pressures that I'm going to be applying in the nets and the training sessions and stuff towards those youngsters is is going to be key for them going out there tomorrow and dealing with the pressures that they're going to face. I'm obviously fully aware of the players around me and I'm fully aware of the players I would like on the, on the park with me and also the players that I actually need on that specific wicket or against that specific team um, regarding tactical plans and stuff. Um, obviously, you know, I, I do get an input into the side. I don't get the final say, but I do have m input, my team, um, which I do put forward. Um, and then whatever comes back, comes back. And I, as a leader, have to work with, with that. Um, and, and I guess that's that's what comes with being a leader now. And um, you know, I know the players well. Um, there's a couple of new guys, which I mean, I'm going to use Victor Nyachi as an example. He's done well for five seasons in a row, and it's been tough for him to get a chance. And now he's finally in the squad of 15, which is a, a massive thing for him. And to for myself to give a guy like that, you know, some faith and um, push him to get to get to this point. It has been tough for him mentally, but now he, he's finally here. And um, yeah, I, I tried to block it out, but the pressures will always be there. And like I say, it's part and parcel of my job now. For us, we, we love it. I, I love playing test cricket. I think it's fantastic. And, and the kids in the change room, I mean, they, it's all smiles in there. I mean, today in the change room when we had our team meeting and everyone was clapping for them and stuff, you could see the enthusiasm and stuff around. And, um, you know, going, going to the pressures of the test match, obviously, you know, we took Sri Lanka down to the wire in, in Sri Lanka. We were actually very for, for unfortunate to not walk away with a series win in the test series as well as the ODI series. Um, our team played exceptionally good cricket there and we were moving forward um, and we need to get back to that again quickly and the guys that have been selected into this 15-man squad I have no doubt can handle those pressures and like I say in the nets I've been putting them under the pump they've been training out of their comfort zone um, again it's going to be a process if they fail I'm still going to be pushing for them um, I understand, you know, that it's, it's tough. We haven't had that much com competitive cricket leading up to this, and there's not that much pressure around in Logan Cup games compared to um, international cricket. But I personally, that's what people would say. I feel it's the other way around. I feel there's more pressure on you in a Logan Cup game because it's your career it's on the line. You're trying to make the national side. When you're in the national side, it's like playing a video game. You you're, you're living a dream. So. They will soon get to understand that. Yeah, and also, this team, how much is the influence in terms of conditions? We always struggle to find out what's the state of Zimbabwe at home. We go with the control, we go with the other thing. Is the movement to not so conditions? Uh, look, I'll 
obviously our like seeming seeming conditions, our strength lies in our seamers at the moment. Um, you've got two spinners in myself and Raza, and then you've got the specialist spinner in Ainsley. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a, a specialist leg spinner at the moment. Brandon unfortunately didn't make the squad. Um, and obviously, you've got Jarvis, you've got the young Shelly Chuma coming through, and um, you've got Victor Nyachi, who's extremely skillful with a new ball as well as an old ball, which is fantastic. Um, and then you've still got Carl Mumba, who's got good pace. And Carl Jarvis is going to be leading that attack. Um, and he's had a lot of influence into how they've been training. And also, yeah, look, I've we've tried to prepare the wickets that we can. Obviously, you know, some good bounce, some good carry going through to the keepers and stuff. A good wicket which will last five days. Um, we've got to start somewhere. And um, obviously, hopefully the weather stays away. That's something that's going to be out of our control. Though. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes, I have. Obviously, we're going to take it step by step. Um, we have to take it session by session. So, first hour goes by, we have drinks regroup. Second hour goes by, we have lunch regroup and make new plans. And that's how we're going to go. We're not going to plan it day by day because things change very quickly in a game of cricket. Three wickets can fall in and over. Um, so, we are going to take it step by step and make it very simple um, and easy for the boys to understand as well. And also, it will highlight areas that need improvement in the second test as well as the future as well so that's a good thing and also it also by doing things like that it makes people accountable for their performances so i.e if there's plans and people don't follow their plans um, they become accountable for that and they have to go back and work on their skill levels okay. uh, before the current coach came in Yes, definitely. And I think not only him, I think my teammates as well. I think Craig Irvine has, has um, played a massive part in that. Um, my wife as well. Um, but the coach, yeah, he has. He spent a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with me, which is fantastic. He understands me re really well. And Stuart Masikineri also. Um, example, yesterday in the Nets, I just felt flustered. And Stuart just called me out of nowhere and just said, just stop. Just come and have a drink of water and I went back not thinking anything and all of a sudden everything came back to me. So they have a, a fantastic understanding and I have a good understanding with them as well. We're on the same page which is fantastic in, in moving forward. We want the same thing. Um, winning is everything. Losing is not an option. Um, losing will hurt and, and obviously there will come good times, bad times and stuff. Um, but yeah, my performances going through this are also going to be key towards the team's success. So would Craig, so would Brendan, so would everybody's. But yeah, he's he has played a good role. All right, anything else? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Willow. Thank you.